Hello again and welcome back. It's the end of the month, so it's time to have a look at all the cars that uh, I collected over the past month. So this month is actually pretty interesting. Got a few different things here. We've got a few Hot Wheels to open up. Um, some, Most of these actually featured in the last monthly haul, I think. Was it really a month ago these features? Has it already been a month? I'm having a bit of a crisis here now, to be honest. Uh, has that really already been a month since I featured these? Good God, it was. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a few of these to unbox. Thanks to these wonderful uh, black boxes that I have been uh, ordering too many of. So I've ended up getting a few duplicates, um, but that's great because it means I can open up the short cards and keep the nice uh, long cards all neat in the box. I've also got a few interesting cars for some sets. Um, no full sets, just some uh, singular ones here. I'm gonna open a few of them up as well because there's some awesome cars there. I've also got a couple of premiums. Um, I will open one of them up. Uh, in terms of what I mostly found this month though, it's mostly Matchbox. Uh, Tesco's had a nice fresh stock of those. So there's some awesome cars there. Right, I'll just get some of the cars off to the side. So we've got a bit more room. In fact, I think what we'll do is we'll start off with some of the Matchbox here. So what have we got first of all? I think we'll open most of these. I'm not sure, actually I'm not too sure. Uh, the cards on these are all a little bit ski whiff and funny because I don't really know how they were kept in Tesco's but they're not in the best condition. So here we have the 2021 Koenigsegg Gamera. This is actually pretty awesome. There was a Hot Wheels variant of this. Um, I would normally have something like that to hand. However, I went through my car boxes recently to try and find something else and everything has been altered. To be honest, I don't actually know. Um, yeah, but this is pretty awesome. Nice grey, nice gunmetal grey kind of colour scheme. Got the Matchbox favourite wheels as always. Uh, it's a sort of a yellow interior. Front light details as well. Very cool. Ah, oh, they've got a little bit of a badge on the back. They've got the logos on the back there. Usually Matchbox will do both front and rear light details. But yeah, that's, no, that's pretty cool. I do apologise if there's any creaking. My desk that I've built is actually kind of falling apart. The chains, it moves slightly and it all creaks. So I do apologise for that. Next up, well, I've just forgot. Remember just how zoomed in I am. Uh, we have the Karma GS6. Now, I've never heard of this before. That's very interesting. Let's open it up and have a closer look. Wow, really cool. This one actually has uh, lensed headlights as well. That's awesome. There's the little logo there. Full over the top panoramic roof. We can see the interior there. Very nice in a uh, beige color. Got the treaded wheels as usual. And we've got the split spoked kind of wheels on there. Nice dark grayish color. Rear light details, we've got the rear number plate and the badges all on there as well. That's really nice actually, it's a very nice blue. Say, I've never heard of this uh, brand before, but a uh, very cool car indeed. Right, next up, McLaren 720 Spider. This is in a very bright lime yellow or kind of lime green colour. This is very cool, very nice front light details, got the uh, hood vents coloured in there as well, got the same wheels again, Matchbox do tend to use the same like four wheels it seems but there's nothing wrong with that, they are pretty awesome and they're, maybe central focus isn't the best for this camera, there we are, there's the uh, back of the car, very very nice, all the rear light details and the uh, Number plate there. That is really cool. Oh, let's get the base the right way up. Excellent. That's cool. I like that. I've got to say, as I said before multiple times, Matchbox are just a very nice in-between car. Um, 
not too customized but very very nice looking so here we have a amc eagle mm, with a nice wood effect on the side this one even has a bit of extra that one actually comes with a bit of extra plastic inside nice There is the car with the uh, wood effect on the side. Very, very cool, very retro. Nice front bumper detail, two different kinds of plastic. So we've got the front lights there as part of the interior plastic and the uh, front bumper is part of the base, which again, quite a reasonable amount of detail on that. I do like the old brown color scheme of the wood effect and the nice sort of brown interior. Looks good, do like the retro design. There's the back, pretty cool. Uh, different kind of wheels actually. This has got some nice wheels on it as well. I don't know if I've actually seen these wheels by Matchbox before. Wow, very cool. Right, uh, let's do this one. What have we got? Ah, the Porsche 918 Spider. There's the card. Let's open it up. No. Well, these have all been a little bit on the tricky side to open, I'll be honest. Cool, this feels nice. Quite a lot of metal on this one, obviously. It's nice and heavy. Little Porsche logo, got your front light details all done up as well. Got these same <laughs> wheels again. Tread around the outside. There is the rear, very, very nice. Got all the rear light details on the badge as well. And on the top there, that's all painted in. Looking really, really nice. Yeah, this is really cool. Do like that. There's the base. Awesome. Right, next up we have a really cool one. In fact, I might even keep this one carded because um, the card looks different. 70 Special Edition. Oh, I should have picked, I've seen, I've seen, hang on. <laughs> I'm way too zoomed in, sorry guys. Um, yeah, actually that's a good point, that is different. Oh, I should have picked up another one of these. I did see more than one. Um, perhaps next time I go. Maybe they'll get. To be fair, they do tend to get extra stock of these in. They'll get the, the same case in for a very long time. And then Matchbox will just disappear. And then they'll come back, same case for a few months, and then disappear for a few months. It's very odd. Matchbox 70 Special Edition. This is very cool. Designed for a lifetime. This is the Dodge Charger. 966 Dodge Charger. Let's try and have a look through the case. Very, very nice. In fact, it does have the 70 badge on the side there, 70 years. Very nice looking car, loving the uh, silver, black and orange colour scheme. We've got the orange on the old wheels there. Oh, and on the back we get some rear light details as well with the Dodge logo in the rear light there. Oh, that is cool. That's really nice. Um, didn't realise that was a kind of a special thing. Definitely have to try and pick up another one of them. That is very cool. And lastly for the Matchbox we have this bloody little thing. The Citroen Ami. What, I know the original Amis weren't the prettiest of things, but my god, what did they do to the poor things? Uh, <laughs> right, for those who don't know, uh, right, for those who don't know, I drive an old Citroen, and I do quite like old Citroens, and I like their old quirky designs, their old suspension, you know, the hydraulic, uh, hydro pneumatic suspension, and all that. I think it's great. These bloody things, <laughs> God, they're just so terrible. It's got a broken screen. Is that the damage from where it rolled over? Uh, yeah, for those, I'm sure everyone's seen that video where one of these goes flying down that corner on that racetrack. Uh, oh, I should really know what that's called. I should know where that is, what that road's called and where it is. Mine's gone blank. But anyway, it rolls down, <laughs> it rolls over and smashes into a bollard. <laughs> Hilarious, in fact, I think the best thing the Yami has brought to us is uh, all the short meme videos of them, like the one that got pushed in a swimming pool and them twerking and all that with the handbrake. I think they're meant to be for young drivers because you don't need a license or something, but oh god, they're just. Just. Oh, it's. Why is this the future of motoring? It's so ugly! Cars, they just. Cars are not. They're just not the same. They're not seen the same people that just see them as transport or you know people that just see cars as transport just don't care they don't get it they don't get it like us car people uh, this is nice though. I mean 
It's got all the light details, little Citroen logo on the badge, or the uh, number plate. It's all right, it's well detailed. Matchbox has done a nice job. Citroen, however, have gone off uh, off the bloody rails. Uh, if that's what they think of innovative now. Yes. Gone are the days of the big old space shuttles with lizard juice to keep them afloat. Anyway, I digress. Let's move them up the back there, out the way somewhere. I really need one of those tiered systems, to be honest, don't I? Uh, where should we go next? What should we start on next? Uh, let's open up some Hot Wheels. So all of these I can open. Um, so first of all, we have the Pagani Zonda. Very awesome. This looks really cool. Nice yellow wheels. Nice details on the front. Got that awesome front splitter. Got some Pirelli logos on the front. Got the Bagani logo on the back, on the spoiler there. I've actually chose to open up the nicer one. I've actually got one of a slight error on the spoiler. Um, but I think I've got three of these now, because I think I got one on a long card in the uh, black box as well. Got some numbers on the side and some logos. Massive rear wing. Yeah, really awesome. And look at that rear spitter. Whoa, proper race car. And there's the base. Very cool, I do like that. Next up, we have a Honda Civic EF. Let's zoom back a bit so you can see. So you can see that. I keep hiccuping for some reason. It's very annoying. Yes, this is very nice. I do like the color scheme. Do like a red, nice red color. VTEC Civic written down the stripe there. Very cool. Got some awesome front light details and the little Honda logo. Really nicely done. Oh, it's actually a uh, JDM model. Right hand drive, very cool. And there's the back. No post in the back there. Got a little tab there, that's very nice. Like that. A little chrome exhaust, awesome. Uh, I always do the base upside down for some reason. There it is. Very nice, shiny and chrome. Yeah, spit five spoke wheels. What not to like, you know? A nice sunroof too. Very awesome. Cool to open some of these up actually. Right, this car is the Copo Camaro SS with complimentary broken box. Good. Because we can open it up and get rid of it. Hooray! So this is like a drag spec because it's got the parachute and the uh, rear uh, wheelie bars. Well, here we we'll have a look at the base. Got the nice Copo livery on the side there and over the top there some nice sort of striping design almost like lightning bolts going down there yeah pretty cool nice red interior another bit of a scratched up screen but mm, that seems to be quite common actually recently on these hot wheels cars doesn't it right next up i'll zoom out a little bit so you can see these cars the cards a bit better we have the Mazda Cosmo Sport. So this is a regular version of a Super Treasure Hunt. Yes, you can find this in a very nice uh, Super Treasure Hunt form, which would be very cool. Kind of what I hoped to get from the black box, but didn't. See, now I've got a problem because I'm not sure if the black box or this video is gonna be out first. So this could be a lot of spoilers. Anyway, this is very cool. Nice front light details, the little badge on the front again JDM right hand drive very nice got the white stripe along the side and a sort of two-tone with the uh, white base there which is really nice these wheels look oh my wrist just clicked <laughs> some very nice wheels on this one and there is the back of the car shame there's no real light details but hey you do get the stripe on the side and the front does look very cool so uh, yeah, let me know if you found a Super down below. Um, I'm sure everyone who's American probably did. Now I, I, I joke, I joke. I'm sure there's just like a select few people that find all the Supers. But then they all post on TikTok that they found all the Supers. So yes, it makes me feel like all the Americans found the Supers. It could be segregation. I'm just talking a lot of bollocks. Anyway. This is the Dodge Hemi Challenger. Oh, I do like this. It's one of my favorite muscle cars. Blame the driver, San Francisco or whatever. Um, yes, I really, 
in fact, driver three, he started off with a Challenger as well. Uh, yeah, blame the driver series because I just absolutely love this muscle car. I just love the design. You've got that front end, very, very cool. Got the uh, striping over the top there with the uh, hood scoop. Stripe down the side, got the Mopar logo, Dodge logo and the Hot Wheels logo on the back there. Chromed out um, filler cap and um, the door handle there. Very, very nice. I like the big rear tail light on this model as well. I specifically, like, my favourite is specifically the 1970s uh, Challenger RT model. Very, very cool. Hemi written over there as well. And base is upside down. There we are. <laughs> very cool. And I do like the steely wheels of the uh, white stripe around them. I just think it looks awesome. That's really nice. Very glad I got one of them out of the black box because I haven't seen one of them to open up since. And that was definitely one I wanted to get the secondary um, car of. So, next up we have a regular treasure hunt. Well, so, wow, so rare not. Anyway, let's open it up. No, look at that little flame. You know what? I want to see a real flame. Now that is a real flame. Yeah, look at that. Anyway, now my cars are all covered in ash. Well done, me. Oh, I'm blowing the cars away. Right, now that I've made everything ashy, oh, I've got it all over my hand. Why do I do these things? I clearly think I'm really funny when I'm not. Anyway, here we have a re the real flaming regular treasure hunt. Um, yeah, no, it's pretty cool. It's quite a cool uh, hot rod design. Open wheels, got front grille. I can't tell if that's something etched into the front grille or just to issue the plastic. There's the engine there, exhaust coming out the side. There we go, it's in focus now. Got the Hot Wheels 55th uh, decal on this one. And there's the little flame symbol, uh, obviously. Aero disc and steely wheels. To, to uh, well, it's got two different sets, isn't it? Yeah, no, pretty cool. It's not a bad regular treasure hunt. And uh, yeah, I actually managed to find a couple of these because uh, lucked out and got one in the black box. Not quite the luck of finding a super in the black box, but it'll do. Again, I'm spoiling things if this uh, if this video is coming out before the black box. Right, let's just move some of them back. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Got some nice Hot Wheels opened up. Now let's move on to the this set. So this is quite an interesting find. I found this on a recent peg hunt. Um, I did another peg hunt road trip. Well, it wasn't much of a road trip. My recent peg hunt trip, I went to one place and I was just like, this is rubbish. These were the best thing I found up there, to be honest. Um, there was basically nothing else. Uh, yeah, Smith's Toys at the minute, which is kind of a, a, a big chain of, a, a big toy shop chain. Bit like Toys R Us, but we don't have Toys R Us anymore, sadly. Um, along with Entertainer, are one of the, they're sort of one of the few toy shops we have, and um, currently they are just absolutely full of peg warmers. These are also quite interesting because they have this kind of import sticker on the back. Um, hopefully, you can all read that if you want to pause and maybe even try translate it. I think we found out it was Korean. So, Sono Kong. Uh, someone's actually mentioned that before as well. Yeah, very interesting. So these obviously been imported from somewhere to B&M. Uh, all of their Hot Wheels also have these stickers on. Like the mainline cars, should I say. Um, of course, the Chase wasn't there. The Gazella R, for some reason, is a Chase. And it is like a chrome version. Uh, of course, that wasn't there. So I don't know whether these were imported without that. Or whether they were on a... They were stacked on a store somewhere else and all them were bought out or whether someone just took them from... I don't actually know anything about these. All I know is there was a load of every single car except the Gazella R. Anyway, that doesn't actually matter because I got two that I really like the look of. Now, I'm pretty sure this was a Ford Torino. I probably shouldn't have... Uh... Oh, wow. I just... I just have to rush into things. Ford Torino tell tell this says something at the end of it, so we'll just I'm sure people know better than me. So this is obviously sort of orange and blue kind of series, so you've got the dark sunburnt kind of orange. Very, very nice. And white and blue striping on the side. This one's number 53. Got the five spokes with a blue outline. 
and even the base is a nice sort of chrome real sort of light chrome blue that is really nice yeah these do actually look pretty cool it's a very bold color scheme I must admit but yeah they look awesome and of course this one I had to buy the Dodge Hemi Challenger I've just explained it I love them so let's open it up and take a closer look I was tempted to buy another one of these to keep carded but I decided nah, it probably wasn't worth it they were quite expensive this is really cool this is also number 53 got the uh, chrome cap again got the stripes down there nice hood scoop there's the front no light details but the casting is all pretty well detailed got the little exhaust down there as well very similar to uh, the green one we just saw yeah really nice color scheme shame this one's actually got a black base rather than the uh, bluish color okay so another one in fact these two I found well actually these two again shout out to my parents for helping me out because I couldn't go out the weekend because um, I was a bit under the weather so they had a check out of this uh, toy shop that's local to me I hadn't been there in a while and I wanted to know what they were stocking so I found the Fast and Furious 2023 five pack which is already featured in a video if you want to check that out I'll leave it at the end uh, so basically they sent me an image and I said that five pack I saw this Porsche in the background went get that uh, then I saw a few of this set so I said have a look through it and see if there's a challenger of course there wasn't because this set has loads in uh, it's a 10 car set it's got the Supra uh, Eclipse Nissan Silvia of course all of those I just listed and a couple more weren't there unsurprisingly I said look out for the challenger it might be there it might not lucky enough it was this is the one I wanted from the set I'm not too fussed about getting the full set because I don't often get these smaller sets anymore I don't think they're quite especially the price they are now I don't think they're quite worth it and I say it's such a pain because people just buy all of one car so there is no chance I'm getting the Sylvia Eclipse or Supra and I'm not spending a fortune to buy them online it's just I've just stopped doing that um, anyway I wanted to point these out because the price went up um, so they got back and I was like I could calculate in my head exactly what the price was they gave me the receipt and it was more looked at the cars these used to be three quid now £4.49 these used to be seven or eight quid I think these were seven fifty from there and they were usually seven pounds in most normal shops they're now nine pounds and the five pack was eleven pound fifty so it's all gone up thanks inflation very cool um, I just got a big whiff of smoke like burning cardboard weird anyway carrying on so yeah all the prices have gone up thanks inflation very cool so here is the Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 very cool this is number four or five um, of course haven't found hang on let's just I'll just pan the camera up a sec the light may swamp this out haven't been able to find the RX7 or the R34 of course um, but it's all right guys because Smith's Toys has about 50 billion of those bloody two anyway I'll put that aside because I'm still holding out that I might find the full set but doubt doubt is a big word but yeah let's move on to the Fast and Furious Dodge Hemi Challenger which I'm going to open because why not might regret that now but oh well I really want to see this up close because one of the reasons I stopped buying these sets because quite often I found anyway when they had tampos they didn't have um, the light details but this is an exception because look at this front light details buried away in there oh that's so cool and the little fog lights at the bottom that's really really nice chromed out hood catches got the scoop obviously and a nice stripe on the front there very very cool handle and the uh, cap on there are also chromed out along with the outline on these steely looking wheels which is really really cool and there we are look at the back guys that is so cool try and get the camera oh the camera's about to fall <laughs> oh no something has gone wrong with my camera stand it keeps giving up i have to buy a new one but yeah look at that awesome awesome real light details come on camera you know you want to focus on them i think it's the black around the lights is a bit too glossy 
Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, super happy to have found one of these because this was the um, the one I really wanted to find from this set. So, yeah, that's really, really cool, that. That is awesome. So, anyway, last car, unfortunately. I'll put that back out the way over there. So, here we have the, the uh, Dodge Coronet, part of the recent um, Drag Strip Demon set. So, yeah, I was lucky enough, I actually found a full set of this. First full set of premiums I found in a long while. Got two of the chase cars as well, which do actually seem to be a bit more, um, a bit easier to find recently. Uh, found them in local Sainsbury's. I went back there not long after, and this was the one car sitting there on its own, so I thought, you know what? Why not? Because I was tempted to buy one of these to open up before. But, so, yeah, decided I was going to. Really? <laughs> it's like pass a parcel. We might get in there eventually. Hooray! <laughs> that took way too long. Yeah, here we are. As always, proper die cast, metal on metal. Look at that engine. That's awesome. Very nice. Is it plastic though? It might be. That might actually be a plastic engine. I think it is, you know. Oh, Hot Wheels. Yeah, oh, Hot Wheels. Well, it's got the nice stripes over the top. No front light details, just the uh, metal front there. That's quite surprising for a... Um, Premium, original Ram Chargers Dodge, very very nice, got two different wheels, this has the uh, thin front and the really thick rear drag tyres, there's the base while we're here, pretty good detail, and on the back we do get some light details, which we should do really, uh, nice rear bumper, got some little catches for the rear there as well, actually as well as the front, that's got some Bonnet catches as well for when it's flying down the drag strip. Yeah, no, that's really cool. I do quite like this casting, I think it looks awesome. Shame they didn't put any front light details on it though. And that engine, I'm pretty sure is plastic. Ah. Oh well, I guess you can't win it all, can you? But yeah, no, that's pretty awesome. There we are. That is a pretty sweet Montfley Hall. Camera's giving up again. It's going. I have no idea what's going on with this camera mount. I need to get a better one. Right, tell you what, let's just take the camera off the mount and we'll sort of pan over the cars. We'll just put them to each side. That'll do, I think. So yeah, pretty awesome monthly haul. Thanks to ordering all the black boxes, we were able to open some of the uh, Hot Wheels cars I got from last month, which is very cool. Found some interesting car sets and even an extra premium, so cannot complain. Oh, and the Matchbox they are awesome so yeah as always guys thank you very much for watching let me know what you think of this month's monthly haul down below i wish you all the best of luck in your peg hunts and hope you find what you're looking for so until next time i will see you in the next video